time and tide waits for no man realizing the importance of time we will begin our new chapter tick 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 welcome all to class 4 mathematics chapter tick 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 topic reading a clock and telling the time in 12 hours and 24 hours time hope everybody is having a similar thing like this in your homes what is it it is a clock what all things you can see in a clock numbers from 1 to 12 three needles etc three needles of the clock can be called hands of the clock now closely if you observe you can see among these a long and stout hand that is a minute hand the short hand is the hour hand and the thin needle which moves faster than the rest is the seconds hand of the clock children you have observed that seconds hand moves faster than the rest the time taken by the seconds hand to complete a full circle is a minute small markings that you see in the clock represents minute there are 60 such markings in a clock 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute time taken by a minute hand to complete one circle is 1 hour 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour a hand when completes a circle half a day gets completed again when it covers another circle the remaining part of the day gets over that is the whole day from early morning till late night gets over it is 24 hours 24 hours is equal to one day reading the clock let us read the clock a hand at 8 and minute hand at 12 it is 8 o'clock we can write like this here our hand at 8 and minute hand at 3 how many minutes after 8 is the minute hand now 15 minutes so the time is 8:15 we can also say quarter past 8 Let's see this time. Our hand is still near eight, and minute hand at six. That is thirty minutes after eight, and thirty minutes to nine o'clock. Time can be written as eight thirty, and we can say thirty minutes past eight, and also thirty minutes to nine. Here we can see that minute hand has moved 45 minutes from the starting point, that is 12. So the time is 8:45. We can also say quarter to nine. Minute hand completed one circle here. and our hand moved completely from 8 to 9 and the time is 9 o'clock this is how you have to read the time now i will show the different times in a clock you have to read it yes it is 8 o'clock 8 5 
8.55 and 9 o'clock. Good. Now start writing the time in minutes and hours. Start from the first one. 8 hours. 8 hours 5 minutes. 8 hours 10 minutes. 8 hours 15 minutes, 8 hours 20 minutes, 8 hours 25 minutes, 8 hours 30 minutes, 8 hours 35 minutes, 8 hours 40 minutes, 8 hours 45 minutes, 8 hours 50 minutes, 8 hours 55 minutes, 9 o'clock. Children, as we have discussed earlier, a day begins actually at midnight 12 o'clock and ends at the same time next day, that is one day is equal to 24 hours. Read the time in this clock. You know that while completing a day, the hour hand of a clock touches 12 two times, that is at early morning 12 and 12 noon. The clock will show the same time. But when you tell, the time can be identified only by writing AM or PM along with it. Anti-meridian or AM means before midday and post-meridian PM means after midday. 12 AM denotes midnight and 12 p.m. denotes noon. This is the 12 hour clock time. Now read this clock. It is 4 o'clock. See another one. It is also 4 o'clock. One is early morning 4 o'clock and the other evening 4 o'clock. How can you write this to show which is morning and evening? Yes, early morning can be written as 4 a.m. And evening can be written as 4 p.m. Now tell me how will you represent morning 11 o'clock in a clock? Yes. It is 11 a.m. What about night 11 o'clock? The clock will show the same time but we will write as 11 p.m. Observe this clock. Next to the numbers you can see another set of numbers. It represents the 24 hour clock. Here, the day runs from midnight to midnight and is divided into 24 hours. That is, it shows how many hours and minutes since midnight. The reason airlines, public transit and armed forces uses 24 hour time is to avoid comparison between AM and PM. Let us check the time. The time in 24 hour clock will be read as the same in 12 hour clock till noon 12 pm. So here you know as in 12 hour clock time till noon it will be read as 10 hours 10 minutes only. The same clock at night will be read as 22 hours 10 minutes. Now see this clock. In the morning no change. 9 hours 27 minutes but at night it is 21 hours 27 minutes check this 
the same way here 8 hours 20 minutes is the time in 24 hours in the morning but at night it is 20 hours 20 minutes come on let's visit one of our previous slides there you identified midnight or early morning 12 o'clock as 12 a.m and noon 12 o'clock as 12 p.m how will you represent this in 24 hour clock yes you are right 12 a.m is represented as 00 hours and 12 p.m as 24 hours question time first question write time using am or pm 6 30 in the evening second question what time will it be 5 hours after 10 15 third question draw a clock showing time as 20 minutes to 11 fourth question quarter to 7 can be written as dash fifth and the last question read and write the time in 12 hour and 24 hours clock time activities first one note down the time of sunrise and sunset from the newspaper second one list out the activities you can do in one minute third and the last question how many minutes did you spend yesterday to watch cartoons? From this video, you could learn a lot about time. Hope you enjoyed learning. Thank you.